Well, hello. I uh, am making a video unlike any I've ever really made before. Uh, there's not going to be a bunch of slick editing and, uh, well, whatever else is contained in most of my videos. I am just going to kind of peel back the curtain into my process of learning something by ear. The song I'm going to be trying to learn is the kind of intro version to Satch Boogie. And if you never heard Satch Boogie, stop what you're doing right now and go listen to it. And the reason I'm learning this song right now, I mean, I've, I've listened to it, I kind of almost know it by heart at this point because I've listened to it so much. So that's always a good first place to start when you're learning something by ear is to really know the song cold in your head, not necessarily be able to play it, but know, kind of let your ear guide you as to what you're supposed to hear, what you can expect. So that way, text message, uh, that way when you mess up or something or a note doesn't sound quite right, you can recognize that a little bit quicker. So step one to ear training 101 is to know what it is you're trying to learn by heart. Uh, and then when you start to adapt it to the strings, it's that much easier. So with that said, I definitely meet that criteria with Satch Boogie. However, I've never tried to play it. So you are about to see me try and learn this song. Hopefully I can do it and this video doesn't turn into a big fail. My trash will be picked up one day later this week because of poor road conditions. Yeah, it just snowed here in Asheville, North Carolina. That has nothing to do with what we're talking about today. So, I've got a tone dialed in here. <laughs> Sounds pretty nice and fat, juicy. Uh, let's go ahead and take a little listen to the first section. Okay, so here is how I break down songs. It's exactly that, I break them down. I don't try and learn too much of a phrase, especially when it's something that is constantly changing. This is almost like a guitar solo that I'm learning more than a riff. So I will really just take a bar at a time and I find that it's a lot easier to internalize uh, different licks and things like that if you simplify them. So that first part sounds like A, and that was just a guess. But you play guitar long enough, you start to kind of develop some relative pitch. So we got A. Sounds about it. We're in the key of A minor. That's helpful for me. So knowing what key you're in will kind of help you determine the intervals. This sounds like a real pentatonic, maybe a little bit of mixolydian thrown in, uh, but Satch is really a pentatonic wizard, so that's how I kind of guess those first opening notes. So that would be... I think it's just three notes, or four notes. So there's an A, an octave. It might be easier to play it here. slide there. Hmm, could be either one of those. So when I've got it pretty much like 80% there, I slow it down and really work on the mechanics so I can speed that back up. <laughs> Thank you. 
And when I think I've got it, speed it back up. So I would say that's pretty good. Bar number one taken care of. We have a little ways to go. Let's see what the next part is. Oh boy. Again, it's helping that I know that part by ear. I can recognize it so I can kind of figure it out, figure out the intervals a little bit easier since it's already up there a little bit. So there's a little bit of Mixolydian, like major third thing. It's actually a cool lick in itself. Oh, there we go. So that was kind of a lucky chance, uh, but I'm really familiar with this kind of C chord shape. So I kind of recognize that. Uh, tongue twister for your fingers. It's kind of tricky. Alright, so I'm having a little trouble with this part, so what I'm gonna do is literally cut this bar into halves so I can just work on each little transition. The moves in itself aren't necessarily that difficult for me, but uh, the transition is what's kind of tough right now, so I'm gonna break that in half. So it's just gonna be, and then, see where I'm at. No. So it is definitely an upstroke there, so I'm figuring out the ergonomics of playing this. And since there's some real string skipping happening here, I gotta be real careful to mute this uh, pretty drastically or else it'll kind of ring out and sound garbled. Garbled up. Sorry, I had to change my battery there. Alright, that part's pretty simple. That's the hard part. Yeah. So alternate picking that D shape seems to be the simplest way. All right, I'd say we're pretty good right now. Let's, uh... All right, let's try the whole thing up to this point. All right, let's move on. So it just repeats. Okay. Again, 
it helps to know where the song goes in your head. Okay. Uh, sounds like a dominant chord. That's what I'm going to go with. Okay. That works. So let's start it from the beginning. I think that actually might be... Sounds a little cooler. Look at me saying what sounds cooler to Joe Satriani. I actually do think it is that uh, I'm hammering the wrong. Yeah, it is. I was doing, uh, but it's actually. So, we've got. That's where we're at, right? I think it goes next. Because it kind of like has this whole step thing. So it's the same lick, just moved up a whole step. That makes my life easier. Now this little thing, boom, hop into boom ball. That's pretty sweet. Why couldn't I write this? Uh, never be afraid to slow down. As you're learning things by ear, you can tend to speed it up and then start to get sloppy. Slow down every now and then. You should always be able to play everything slow and fast. There are some things that I can only play fast uh, and when I find those things, I learn to play them slow. This song is not an example of that. <laughs> All right, let's see what the last little bit is. It's like weird chromatic thing. <laughs> That could be anything. Uh... Mm. It's like a diminished thing. So like... It's just going off complete guess. It's, this is like an A diminished. A diminished try, let's try that. See that. I can hear that top note. So it goes. Whoa. Something like that. I think I'm going to go with the diminished thing. Uh, 
does he get that crazy harmonic? <laughs> Something like that, so. <laughs> I think I need a little bit more fuzziness to uh, pull off these harmonics, but. <laughs> So, uh, let me put a little, I'm gonna put on a little bit of reverb. Oh, that's already making it easier. <laughs> but, as you can tell, it's important to play clean. Obviously, I'm using a distortion to get me into the song, but I'm not hiding behind a wall of reverb uh, until I can actually kind of play the song. So, now let's work on the intricacies, such as the pinch harmonics, etc. <laughs> It's already using some chords that have been in the song. I think that's it. Again, a pentatonic thing. a sweet picking. Never forget to take a little stretch break, especially when learning Joe Satriani music. Tricky. And then it goes. Uh, that's the boogie right there. that over and over. So, I am learning this for a very special video. 
It may have something to do with the greatest guitar riffs ever written. Uh, look for that on my channel. I hope this was a helpful little uh, glimpse into my practice regime, the way I think about things. Hopefully you got some little nuggets. Uh, if you're trying to learn some stuff by ear, I always encourage learning by ear instead of using tabs or things like that, just because, I don't know, makes you a better musician and it makes you rely on more parts of your musicianship than just, you know, looking at a video or somebody's fingers or a tab and trying to copy it. So with that said, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to get back to work and until next time, keep shredding.